thank you, Lord, that this morning that we can love you, that we can appreciate you and declare that you alone are our God. Thank you, Father, that through prayer we have an opportunity to listen to you. Thank you that through prayer you direct our focus, our hearts, our minds into the right direction that we can arrest our, our life and our, give our attention to you. Help us, Lord, that through prayer we find the way to be sensitive in the Spirit, to, sen to be sensitive to your voice. As a soldier will stand on attention and be ready for every little command from the leader, from the corporal. Help us to have such a lifestyle that through our prayer we are standing on attention and we are learning how to respond to every command, to every word from the mouth of the corporal, of the leader, of the commander. Teach us that, Lord, not because we have a fear, no, not the fear of failure, but the fear of God that is because we have respect for you, as that soldier will stand on attention because of respecting the authority, honoring the authority, and every command, every word that comes from the mouth of that authority. Teach us through prayer the way to sensitivity in the spirit, and that we have this opportunity to listen to you, God forgive us, where prayer many times became something and was something where we, we can be heard and we can hear our voice and we can hear whatever we want to say through the state of our emotions and, and our circumstances and that we even bring our circumstances and what we want to think or say, bring it and give it a um, higher authority, a greater focus in prayer. God, that was not prayer. That was just honoring our circumstances, emotions, and own thought patterns. Forgive us for that. Yes, Lord, help us to, um, that through prayer we will bring it in all honesty before you. But through prayer, we will align our lives to understand this two-way communication that we will understand how to listen to you thank you God that we can see into the future through prayer and that many times in prayer you not just want to say to us what's going to happen in the future and, and give us your strategy so that we will stress less God Many times you just want to talk about the future and help us that we will bring our lives through prayer in such a way before you where we can just sit together and talk about the future, Lord. With prayer then as an agent, as, as a servant for the development and the strengthening and the growth into maturity of my spirit, Thank you, God, that I can grow in maturity. God, you made my spirit perfect when I gave my life to you. But the beauty in my spirit, the thoughts, the feelings, the purposes of God, yes, Lord, of you, the beauty in my spirit, it must come forth by my spirit maturing more and more by having the final say and through prayer where my soul will not determine when I will pray, what I will pray where my soul, my emotions when I'm feeling negative that will decide what I will pray and how I will pray when I'm excited or when I'm down that will determine what I will pray and when I will pray when I feel like it, when I according to my opinion, when it's a time to pray according to my opinion. God, I will not allow my soul to control my prayer life anymore in Jesus' name. 
my soul will not be central anymore in how my prayer will be directed in Jesus name but thank you father that my spirit the true me the true me will mature through prayer so that I can understand the beauty of how your spirit testify in my spirit every day about many things from the heart of the father when my heart and your heart Lord can be connected and stay connected and that life can flow from our connection in prayer also we honor you for that we thank you for that father in jesus name amen <laughs>